And we're live. Welcome to episode four of Audio Picnic, presented to you by Feckin' Whiskey. We don't have Richard W. Crothers today, or indeed Daniel Watson, because they're both off sniffing General Fiasco's pants. Today instead, we have Shane Todd. Say hello. 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 And, and all the way from the main streets of Lurgan, Mickey Bartlett. How is she? There's, yep. Have you any more to say? Cotton. Shane. Boom! What was that, Rocky? I was Lafaro, the ballad of Burnt Dave. Tune. Amazing tune. Here, were, were we not drinking in the same bar as them the other day? Yeah. 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 Were not. You were like just lingering outside going, yeah, should, should I go up and talk to him? I want to go up and say something to him because I do nice music, but I'll just I'll stay here. Better than that, what about the, is he the, the guitar player from More Than Conquerors? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who, who did the Stiff Kitten gig and then he just ended up back here at this very room. He told us. Reading Heat. Yeah, he told us a story, right? He goes, my dick's bent, right? <laughs> and I went, huh? He's like, my, my dick's bent. Uh, right, there hadn't been, but there hadn't been a dick bend in conversation. No. Chat. Have there been a dick straightening? No, Come not even, Mike, not even. No, we just, came, we came off the it. back of, uh, what's your favorite shot or something? Oh, I like a I think good bendy dick. I uh, tell you what, he goes, I can piss, I piss weird, I stand sort of sideways when I'm pissing, but I spunk straight, so don't worry about that. Yeah. Did, did anybody see embarrassing bodies? No, I tend was, not to there watch was, There was a guy on that that had a, 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 a proper horizontal dick. Sideways? You, do, you know, sideways do you know dick? Lil Bow Wow, the rapper, yeah? A, Snoop Dogg's nephew? Aye, uh, yeah. Half of his dick is black and half of it's white. What? No way. Do you know Lauren Kerr? That we know? Yeah. She, ask her, ask it? her. The next time you see her, go, show me a photo of Bow Wow's dick. Sure, did she not suck the dick clean off him? <laughs> Are you sure she hasn't just got a, his dick's not normal, but she's on her phone, it's in sepia? <laughs> or something. No. So it's, maybe he's dipped it in a bit of cream. I maybe it's. You know what he's like, yeah. Maybe he's he's, he's a wee, wee dairy lee dunker. <laughs> on him, that's not what it is. It's a bit lacist. A bit lacist. Oh, uh, so huh? hmm? who's in the room? Because we need to tell these people. Because uh, Rick's not here. Going, man. Rick, Rick, who looks terrible. Mick, have you seen the way Richard W. Brothers looks now? Oh, with, I've seen a photo on oh. Facebook. Is with the has he has he bleach blonded his was whole he, head? Was he, he just it? trying to go from the Simon from Beffy Clyro look? Was he looks more like Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, he really does. He looks yeah. he looks like the bad guy from uh, like Die Hard with a Vengeance. But you know, after just go ah, Tara shit didn't work out. I just, <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop working out and go a beard. I I've, I've spunked it twice over the photos. Spunked it uh, twice. Twice. Yeah. I I haven't now. I have to admit I haven't spunked it over that particular image. Yeah, sure. But that the, one, the of one, one with that one JPEG. the pigtails is lovely. Why? The one that he took while he was dying it uh, looked like someone had just bukkake the fuck how, out of his how head. How do you yeah. dye a beard? Just the same way you dye your pubes. It would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, your man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll be giving him a ring later anyway. Uh, we'll give him a wee ring him. later. So ask, just ask in case, in case anyone's freaking out at home. He's on the road, man. He's on the road. Tubies. He's on the road with Jan Fiask, is he? Yeah. Uh, what do you reckon they're doing? Smoking doobies, man. I reckon they're eating baby bells and taking all the, all the wax bits and building like wee characters. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's fucking alternative, do, dude. Do you reckon they're putting their f- two fingers inside the baby bell and then drawing a wee face on the outside bit and then going, can't, listeners at home Probably. can't see me doing this with my fingers, but moving them apart and then together in a scissor-like fashion Probably, yeah. and making the aforementioned baby bell do some sort of strange voice. Hello. It's like a red Let's Pac-Man. get wasted. Kids and grown-ups love it so. Oh, I've never heard that, General Fiasco. That's, <laughs> that's baby bell. That's hard. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck off. So we don't have Rick. Dan just had no uh, interest when I asked him earlier. <laughs> I, 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 he goes, are we doing a podcast today? He was doing keep you upside the back. He was. He, he wasn't he was doing press-ups on an exercise ball. <laughs> and, uh, had he, to win for his tea. As he, <laughs> as he does, yeah. I said to him, do you want to do a pod- are we doing a podcast? And he goes, oh, shame. Cheeky. That's all he said. It was oh, all shame. shame. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh damn. It's falling yeah. apart. I know. But instead, we've got Shane, who was on last time. Yeah. yeah. He's loving it. It's me laughing at it. And Mickey bloody Bartlett. Nom, 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 nom. I'm just enjoying mine like a meal. We're living rather, the dream. Rather than la- we are living the dream. It's funny, it's- we're eight minutes in and Mickey Bartlett... Uh, his, your name has been mentioned about three or four times and not once have you said find me the funny afterwards uh, you know, I'm, I'm I, shocked I, by this I've let that go Rocky but thanks for bringing it up uh, anyone watch find me the funny no you didn't uh. <laughs> saw someone do that at the Empire at the weekend Ooh. 
what oh. goal did anyone see find being the funny and, and they looked at the aforementioned person as if no way who are you talking about oh I'm not going to mention the name at all but we all know who it is Gemma Hutton Gemma Hutton uh, <laughs> do you know what I don't know her I do she's very she's very, she's very, very funny girl <laughs> not like a uh, couple of two other people that I'm not even going to rant this isn't my show I'm not allowed no, to I'm, <laughs> that, speaking not, of the empire uh huh you oh, doing it soon, are you? I uh, might be. Oh, when's that? Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. coming, mate. Nineteenth of October. This very month. Shit in your pant. Bit I. Bit sports slot. Bit. So it's a big slot. Support slot. The headline support is where you could set headline support because I'm supporting the headliner. Yeah. Um, but yes, twenty five of my best minutes. Who's headlining on it? Some Christian, something Christian and Riley. Bale. Christian, Christian Bale. Yes. <laughs> what are you Cri- doing, Christian Scott Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> Who you, is? F- you fucking amateur. <laughs> I don't, don't, don't ever do that again, all right? Isn't there, does he in that rant that he said at one point, I'm trying to do a scene and you, I don't, I don't start going and try acting when you're trying to light. That dude, that, dude, that, that dude Mickey. should have technically went, well, actually, Christian, you fucking do, mate, because I am the lighting guy and you're Mickey's acting. He's not a New York in. wise guy. Hey, what? buddy. You know what? I'm d- trying to do the scene, all right? I, did I say that? I, ah, oh, sh- fucking moke. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, this it, fucking I, guy. It'd be brilliant. I'm fucking Batman, you son of a prick. I ought to better ring your fucking ass off, you motherfucker, you. How, Alfred, <laughs> give me a scotch, you cunt. How would he do the the growly voice after that? Arr, like, ah. he, would just, he, would just, he would just talk perfectly clear and then growl. It's like, yeah, what you talking about, you moak? And then he'd be like, <laughs> you what? fucking son of a cocksucker, you Batman. What was the last gig everyone did? Was Balmy near last one? Uh, no, Lisbon. There, uh, Saturday. Lisbon. Lisbon. I was in Mali's parlor. Here. Here. What? We're doing a fairly. We're shooting in the dark tonight, aren't we? Oh, we're pissing in the wind. We're going to do. When, when you guys at home hear this, this will have already happened. Yep. We're going to Gannon Swift tonight it's for the actual football team. The Irish League football team. Yeah. Irish League football team. Which I am. I reckon if we go down there and just hand out, you know, refreshers, it's going to be. <laughs> Um, I think it'll be bad that I'll probably know about 80% of the people there. It's probably because you're related, related to them. You're just outside the building, you just hear this hum of culture. In inbred <laughs> swing. <laughs> you got any tea there? And sugar, have you? Serious? Fellas come back from Dungan and the Lurgan and go, just fuck them country's animals. <laughs> 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 Do you remember outside, outside your gig? In Balamina? Where, you, where Shane got up and did a quick five. And the woman outside, do you remember? She goes, uh, hey, you're, you're very good tonight, so you are, uh, same sort of shite my son talks in the car on the way to school. But, you know, you got the bollocks to get up and do it, so. The way you did. It's <laughs> the way you, it's the way you tell. But she, I did, I did. Write I'd, that fucking down, it's the way you tell. I'd broken my nose the day before and had a terrible cold. Your nose looks swell now compared, have you got it? It's actually getting fixed in a couple weeks, getting put back in place. It looks like it's already, cause yeah, it, it, it looked like, uh, a guy's willy from one conquerors. Looked like little Butterworth's knob hanging yeah. yeah. in my face. Half it was black, the other half. Gonzo's nose. Milky yeah. white. But, uh, yeah, I decided that I was sitting in the audience and I thought, I can't just leave this gig and have people look at me and think, there's an audience member. I had to have people leave me and think, there's a terribly fiend comedian walking out. So I did a quick five. Quick did, five. Yeah. It was, it was very long, quick five, wasn't mm. it? I, I, Paddy asked me to go down and MC that bad boy next month. Can't do it, but. Is that supporting PJ Gallagher, aren't they? Oh. Uh, not, oh. Not, not the most famous person I've ever supported. Michael Winslow, well. anyone? Michael Winslow? Hey, I supported PJ Gallagher too. I've been remembering you. Yeah. I see you did. Yeah. Anyway, back to Colin. That, that, was, <laughs> that was at the part of the Fiala thing. Fiala. Where I terribly misjudged the crowd. Yeah. Did you think that someone would be Protestants? I thought everybody would like to hear... You know, a lot of parents there. It was a lot of older people. I presume did want to hear pedophile material for twenty minutes. Yeah, and unless, then, unless then, you walk out at one of those gigs and go, "Here, fuck, what about the raw?" <laughs> oh, that always goes down the treat. At oh, every time. If you could just literally go at those gigs, Protestants, Catholics, way that'll be it. That would that would be That's fine. It, definitely. Here's definitely playing the sash on the flute. How much <laughs> is the place we live fucked? Yeah. That's Here's, good. Speaking of that, Dungannon Swift's gig that we were referring Some. to a minute ago. There. Yeah, as you do. Um. I was like home at the weekend, or it is the weekend. I I think it's Monday. Don't don't get hung up on it. Let yeah, it it. but I was home like a couple of days ago and I was reading through the uh, newspaper and I was saying that Dungan and Swifts and it advertised Barry the Blender up to his old tricks again. Ah, <laughs> oh, deadly. <laughs> Makes you sound like a, a a very moderate rapist. The look on Collins' wee face. I don't, I know I know your pain. Oh, Barry's at it again. 
You know what you should do? You should just like go in dressed like Barry the Blender, go up to the guy who's like introducing everything, punch him in the face and take the headband off or whatever and just go, no, I'm not fucking doing Barry the Blender. Get out. Just walk elaborate. Kick, kick, the, kick the fuck clean out of it. <laughs> I don't clean know. Clean out? I thought, Here, do you I know what we, no, we should go to the, the clothes shop cult. Get loads of like super dry. Are you endorsed by cult? Just look. You said that as if you're obviously Just look them. really like completely opposite and go speak like this dude and just don't like draw a reference to it at all go in well, wearing we'll a cigar just get up in the full blender again and go hey yes <laughs> Terrible. Don't Alan Swift. I've never seen a Swift play football it's weird <laughs> that's so weird don't get Alan Swift there's fuck all Swift about you I think you <laughs> and who's the use their dung <laughs> do you want to get a shower <laughs> or, or no I'm already whipping up a fucking hopper <laughs> in my pants here <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. I was going to talk about that tonight actually Footballers sort of just whipping up a demi for yeah. get, getting <laughs> sure. the shower. You know what I mean? Is anyone el- any other banter? General. Anything happened to you? Happen. Your arsehole's hanging my out of your body. My arsehole's it? hanging out of my arsehole. Uh, <laughs> I think a pink sock. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> your anus has escaped. <laughs> looks like, it looks like the aftermath of a water fight. It looks like there's uh, a squid hanging out of it. Does. <laughs> it does. It just looks like one big... It just... Have we plastered on it now? <laughs> But it, and they've given me they've given me this wee plaster that they thought was flesh coloured, but haven't have completely misjudged the fact that I'm a pasty white. Why would man from Lurgan? Mickey, has, like, Mickey, I, Mickey got his anus broke. I, I, I got, <laughs> Did he get I, shafted I, by I, Mr. Tate? I got, I got broke in, awful gentle. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I had I had a bit of surgery there about a year ago, and should have the scar bust open. Oh. I'm like Wolverine backwards. Yes, ladies, uh, literally. <laughs> so, uh, so if you look on the ride, uh, if you look on the ride, don't don't mind the smell of possum blood. From a uh, man with a seeping anus. A seeping. <laughs> Seeping's a bit. More weeping than seeping. Weeping. <laughs> weeping. It's not seeping yet. It's a, yeah, it's you know the way. Crying. No one understands me. You know the way comedians do self deprecate and stuff? Like people enjoy self deprecating stuff? You can't get much better than whipping your bags down and going, my arsehole's broken. My, <laughs> it's not my hole, it's just the crack. Alright. But that was, I had to go, I had to go in for daily dressings. And I was saying to you earlier, the most embarrassing thing I've ever heard in my life was I was lying on my side. It's really, it's a pain, it's a pain in the hole. Right? Hey! But it, it is though, because see, see whenever you get Tell it done, right? Talk you, obviously, you, you obviously can't sit on your bum, right? And you can't lie on your back. And you can't lie on your side, because when you do, your bum cheeks squeeze together and okay. it hurts the wound, right? So the only, the only thing you can do is stand up. But by the time you figure that out, you've been lying on your stomach for about an hour, so your balls are aching. Right. So it's just a nightmare, but the most embarrassing thing I've heard in my life, um, I don't know why I went camp there, but... <laughs> I was I was then getting getting a wee, a wee plaster on it yesterday. It's fucking uh, all wrong up at the doctor's hunk. <laughs> the doctor's we indeed fell. But uh, this nurse, uh, the I was lying on my side, and this nurse had to go. If you could just, uh, if you could just hoist that wee cheek up a bit there, just lift that one up like it in between us. <laughs> uh, so I lay on my side yesterday and parted my cheeks like the Red Sea, mm. and must have resembled a dog taking a piss up against an lamppost. Dan Watson, right? Uh huh. Who does this podcast? How long does smoke a fag? His brother had the same thing done, right? Only he was panicking, like, what was it, like, ingrown hairs or something? No. No? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> on, on your... It's very common. It's very common. It's common as fuck. Happens to girls, too. I'll tell you about that one. But, uh... Fall off your dad's dick, did it? <laughs> what do you hear? Fuck you. Dave Watson came in to me with the dressing that had come off his crack, right? I walked over to me and went, here, smell that. Went, <laughs> what? And he was deadly serious. He goes, smell that? Does that smell infected? And I went, you just pulled it from it always, twix your cheeks. It always smells infected. Oh. It's going to smell like shit. I went, I, I've had the operation done a couple of times and I went in once and it's, it's a, it's a very common thing among, among sufferers. We all have the same story. You can't sit down, can't lie on your back and all sort of crack. Adam Lachlan, the other. Adam Lachlan is the guy who had his bums stapled together. God bless him. It's, it's a nightmare. Like, but I was in and there's this girl and she was quite pretty. And everyone in the, in the ward at that time was getting the same thing done. They just do it like one day a year. <laughs> and uh, it's really hot girl sitting there. And I'm kind of like, so what, what are you in for? And she's like, I've got a, I've got an abscess. And I was like, oh, me too. Thinking, you know, I will not do it doggy style, but this could happen potentially. And, uh, I, I went through my list of things that you can't do. And I'm like, you can't sit down. You can't lie down. You can't, you know, do this, can't do the other. And she went, yeah, you can't fart. I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> I can fart. Fuck's wrong with you, weirdo. Fucking creep, man. It's what, why? What was wrong with her arse? <laughs> was fuck, mate. <laughs> you, a doc- you a doctor, my guy? <laughs> That's my medical opinion. Do you see a tumor, mate? You're fucked. Your patch, Did you just whip it out of her rack? asshole and shove it in her wound? You just That's, uh, you could probably. Oh. oh, mate. Someone told me. We hear this. Someone told me. <laughs> Who? Someone told me this, right? Some guy was in a hospital. It was like a doctor, train, trainee doctor, or whatever. And someone had like a colostomy bag. 
And he was What's, a gay... What is a Cosmo? Oh, it's, a, it's a bag. Nothing what's a Cosmo bag with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hole where your shite comes out into a bag if you've had... Right, like, yes, yes, yes. Right? And uh, <laughs> he was a gay chap, right? That's smell infected. And he had syphilis around this hole. What? Because someone had their dick in it. Someone was fucking him in the hole where the tube went. He's got... Eh, eh, and he got... But where s- is that tube? In your chest? Are you you, you're, serious? Like your lower sort of... Like where your appendix would be? It's instead of coming out your arse hole, the shit comes out of this, so it's way down your stomach. That's fucking rank. Isn't that disgusting? What? Here, my cross, my cross trainer arrived the other day. Well, hold on, Ooh. hold on. Well, what was the conversation they had where he went, you horny, are you, eh? Do you want me to fuck that shit hole there? That's what you'd be doing, anyway. Yeah. I don't know, he'd probably pay good money for it. Yeah. Do you know why I always, you said about a cross trainer? I always thought a cross trainer was an angry PE teacher. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I got the most... Give me 25, bitch! The most he hasn't changed text from Colin because I'd, we were all supposed to meet on Friday and I text him and I text you as well, Mick. I was like, do you want to meet on Friday? He, he hasn't changed? We'll chat through some stuff. What does that mean? Colin, you able to meet, are you? Nah, man, I'm assembling a cross trainer. Did you have to assemble it yourself? I, was, I did, but it was done by the time you phoned me. But I was waiting on someone to fix my computer, but it didn't... You were out. waiting on someone to go on the cross trainer? So you could so watch? Double, double check it, like. Well, cross trainer's a good job, boy. Oh, I don't know much. Much is stingy. Can't say bad, Dad. 170, chum. 170. Down from three fed. Sweating pretty, the bed out, I watching... Hope, hope it still works after it fell off the back of that lorry. Huh? Yeah. Dead I thought you were going to say, hope it still works after you've been on, you fat cunt. I wasn't, I wasn't saying anything like that at all. <laughs> Being a hefty chop myself. <laughs> you wouldn't know heft. <laughs> Just call me Hugh Heftner. <laughs> Heftner. So... We're huge Heftner. <laughs> Going for, find me the funny there. Uh, going? going for another tune, are we? Aye, uh, fuck. Need them, my throat's fucked. Huh? Yeah. Tune what is in, this tune? Uh, as in the lozenge. Uh, this yeah. is Travis Barker featuring the cool kids. Of course it is. Tunerology. <laughs> I mean. Gangster as fuck. There's a spider outside, listen. They're concluding some sort of business deal. I feel like you can't even... Many males on her chum. <laughs> what makes that right? Don't know, made a fucking stole the fuck out of it, doesn't it not? What's the odds ain't getting the fucking right in this, in it? <laughs> Mate, you know what I think's the best thing to do? Let's see if you're trying to fucking fix it up. Get two playing cards, right, and just stick them in the wheels of it. I see you. <laughs> fucking, I'm gonna be bucking the fuck out of Shireen in the back of this later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking up to my elbow and Beyonce. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking splurt over Lu- Lucy Joe's fucking glasses and eat this. No one would do anything. I'm gonna fucking tear her up with her lodge. I cr- I cracked that lazy eye with a bit of fucking Fuck juice in it. Better than that. I love it. I fucking. No, but dude, seriously, it's 2K or not. I o- I always discuss this, but like, right, the word stroked. I I know, I know. I always say this, but like... You crowbar material in here? Stroke. No, I just don't Yeah, dude, what's, deal? Just, what's a deal with uh, Christians, eh? I just, I don't get <laughs> the Women whole ain't. stroked thing, because someone was talking to me last night, and they were all like, I set my phone down, and I got stroked. I was like, I just constantly think of someone just rubbing someone's phone. It's patting it. Aye, and that's it, really. Stroked. I love it in football, whenever maybe somebody gets nutmegged. He fucking stroked you a week earlier, didn't he? <laughs> he Not stroked. Not stroked. That happens to me all the time. Hit football. the showers, eh? <laughs> 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 the showers, I just whipping up a halfer. Uh, stroke it. Uh, anyway, chill out the fuck. News! We got news. News! From Shane Todd. Do you want me to do like a, a sound effect on. number for Hold on. Uh, You're just looking at the itinerary? Hold on. So, miners got out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's <laughs> what I was going to chat about. Yeah. Go on. Here, see before we start any news. What was it? I didn't re- really listen to it. But on there was a like a picture of some guy from here. And it was supposed to be some sort of stunt. That, and he tried to jump over someone dressed like a tomato. Right, that was Jim Rogers, who he, he used to be mayor. I don't know if he still is. Nobody gives a fuck about the mayor. He was wearing the, the necklace. So. Basically, what happened is there was it was like a publicity shoot for some like food week or some food event, and there was a woman sitting down dressed like a tomato, right? So in a tomato suit, right. and Jim Rogers Funny was behind right. her. Jim Rogers behind her, standing up, and the photographers apparently egged him on. He's not twelve, right? <laughs> this is the fucking mayor. Who, I'm dead, mate, dead, mate. No mayor should be egged on into doing things here. Pass this bill about being able to hit. Hit, hit, hit minorities, right? But he, they said, like, would you just jump over, right? And they'll take a photo of midair of him jumping over. The, the like guy's, bigger grove? The guy's about 142, right? Stone. He just ran with a knee into the back of her head. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I don't think she was that hurt, but she got 25 grand in damages, so... Who wouldn't, mate? She was, he was fairly red-faced after it. 
Oh. oh. She could have she could have been a vegetable after. Oh my god. Oh. Which one was a fruit? That's saucy. Oh. 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 Come on, make a ketchup. Oh, well done. Well done. I bottled it. To be honest, that time. <laughs> oh. Do you think whenever whenever uh, Eve's about to jump over, they get they have my count? Like they were going to say one, two, three, and they did it in German, and they went Heinz. Fine. Uh, that's, that's good. That's, that's pure, yeah, yeah, pure yeah. good material. Oh, huh? is that your yeah, daddy's? Well <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good. Oh. Well, I like it. Uh, oh, uh, red sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but seriously. Um, yeah. So the miners, yeah, that's fairly. Uh, there's a woman I work who, with. Who was the news reporter that reported on that tomorrow? Was it Gordon Sasha? <laughs> <laughs> okay, mate. Okay, we've, we've all had a laugh. Uh, Don't flip the lid. There's a woman I work with who's, who's in her thirties. And had no idea about the Chilean miners story and any part of it. Just didn't know it existed till I said, What are you saying about the miners coming up? That was her first taste of that story. <laughs> Literally. Apparently, the Chilean miners became the Armand miners next weekend. Did you see the guy? If you're into the gas. <laughs> if you're one of those Fenians, <laughs> like me. Did you see the guy who came up looking like you taking two E's and like Hulk Hogan <laughs> entering the ring? You probably had because they were fucking. Plan them full antidepressants, were they? As uh, you would. And cock. Do you reckon they sort, while they were down there, they sorted out an order of who went up first? Because I imagine. They argued about that. Yeah. I imagine that, like, the guy that was last, they're like, I'm so excited about getting out, and he's going, aye, I'm on the fuck, boys. <laughs> so now, <laughs> yeah, I'm again. excited to get in the fucking cage, mate, would you? Uh, get the fuck. Are they New Oakleys? Because that long? was. Because <laughs> it was, a, it'd be a day, well, how long was it taking? Two days or something? <laughs> something like if, you, if you were that, if you were the first one out, right, I would, I would, I'd be bad enough to wait. Until there's only one guy down there and be all here, fucking Joe. It's sunny as fuck, mate. They love it. <laughs> Brilliant. What are you doing? <laughs> Anyone want to hang out at Chippy? Who wants a pasty? Bowl of chili. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, this is, this is, I uh, uh, every time. A pedophile dancing teacher, so a dancing pedophile, who oh, seduced a string of underage girls began 10 years behind bars. Blah, blah, blah. Edward Dillon was described as a puppet master. Um, for I the, the Romeo dancer used emotional blackmail. Don't, don't that makes don't him sound good. Give him charm, yeah. exactly. The Romeo that he just that's like call him a rascal. I want them to get away with. Um, <laughs> he bombarded them with text messages, signed off with "Love Teddy Eddie" and saying "You look sexy tonight." Um, one girl said, "They are. This is just bigging him up here." It's, she said, "He was funny, good looking, and I very quickly fell in love with him. Believe we would be, we would eventually be together." Blah blah blah. What age was he? Were these girls? Um, old enough, chum. Th- between thirteen to fifteen. Ah, uh, old enough to bleed, mate. Do you think? Do you think whenever he got up a bit? Sorry. Whenever he got up in front of the judge, he went here. If I can moonwalk, will you let me off? Ding, 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 dinsk, 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 dirty Diana. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh, any more news? I love smoking. Um, no, quite like uh, Cheryl Cole's dyed her hair red. Oh, that's exciting that. for me. It looks more purple to me, but it looks more what? Purple. The fellow from the town alone I'm talking about. Uh, I'll grip. How, how many? How many fingers do you reckon you get off Cheryl Cole? <laughs> oh, f- fuck. Uh, get a fist. I reckon she take like five. Puppet. I reckon yeah. she take five. Really? With a bit of coaxing. I don't think that'll ever be something for anybody from Lurgan to worry about. I know. That's, I love that about like spades up here talk about birds that did definitely buck. Yeah. Like they have a choice. Like, Would you buck that fucking Abby Tippas? Would you mate? What in that mate? What, I do it now in Wickener. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tell you who I wouldn't fucking touch. See who I wouldn't fucking touch. See that fucking Gemma Arter Tom. No fucking way. Is that Ginger one of the cars loud? I met see if she was just the one to play it, I'd be like, nah. I met, <laughs> see if she came in going here, fucking horse into me, nah, I'd be all, I can't love see if she the came fucking in, sane one. See if she came into my fucking shed <laughs> and wanted the fucking dick, I thought the fuck See if she came down the fucking Chateau de Anto, send, there's no way. Send the one with the fucking big hole. <laughs> Kimberly, I'd fucking ruin that. I'd buck out in the Dean thing, but only she kept her fucking mouth shut. Do you ever hear her talking? Common as fuck, mate. <laughs> She has no fucking class. That's it, mate. Got any pret stick on you? <laughs> <laughs> Start with a pret stick and move your way up. That's it, mate. Who, who, which one would you go for first? Kimberly. 
Kimberly, me uh, too. Big lips on her. Sarah Harding. Kimberly, when she was a bit, when she was, when she, see before they all lost all the weight, uh, they all were fucking dangerously ill looking. Uh, I liked them at Sound of the Underground. Brown and guys, do you think, do you think somewhere going in a room right now, maybe like in a London hotel or a big fancy room, they're watching Family and Funny and going, talking hang about up. which lads at audio picnic. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, it's got to be rocky, doesn't it? You know, and, the thing to be Have you ever seen that there? That there bury them playing their own? Uh, that crossed have my mind one day w, because I was thinking if someone that's one of her family still lives here and goes here, have you seen this? He talks about girls, girls allowed, and, and she's like, you. "Can you see us here?" And then fuck, and well, there's then, wild funny out there. <laughs> see, they listen to the podcast, listen Hi. To the podcast, and talk about how you seen her getting bucked one day. Oh, we. Do you know Niall? We Niall. Uh, he was at the roost. Oh! With his brother, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was that who it was? Yeah. He's, Buck, he bucked her? He, he lives like just outside Derry in like this big house. It's kind of about 10 minutes out, right? It's in Derry, but, uh, she lived somewhere close to him or something. And it's in the middle of nowhere, so we don't really get cars coming up that, and like a car pulled up at about two in the morning. And they're all like, who the fuck's this? And it just sort of stopped at this dead end. And his, his dad went down with a fucking, torture or whatever and it was it was her this was way before she was famous or anything when she was just getting fucking rattled in the back of a corset Get, getting the the, the parts through in there <laughs> oh fucking dirty bitch you just don't need to put up on the fucking girl's not allowed if you ask me brilliant <laughs> the only picnic website you have to put up that video have you seen it of a guy with Tourette's phoning up an order for food and I put it oh up. that's brilliant yeah. you put it up did I you? put it up on the audio no, what, what? that's probably why I saw he's, he's from there and he phones up to order a Chinese but he's got Tourette's Ballet. It's fucking brilliant. Well, if I'd like to be placed an order, listen, I'm wild sorry about this, but uh, you fucking slag. I'm wild sorry <laughs> about this. Here, you won't give me two fucking chicken balls. That's what he said. He says, no, smell your minge, love. I'm wild sorry. I'm wild sorry. I love to see you your sister. I'm wild sorry about that, love. <laughs> fucking smell your minge, we know. I'm sorry about that, but it's funny as fuck. Like. Do you accept me apology, do you? Do you accept me apology? You fucking you slut. fucking cunt. <laughs> do you? As you go into the drive through at McDonald's, you know how they have those like wee speaker phones now? Yeah. Uh, like they have a computer at the side that tells you your order. Yeah. Imagine if you were like started like rhyming off these orders and then shouting all these curse words and all the curse words come up on the computer as well. That'd, That'd be, be fantastic. I told you about the time being at KFC drive through and being about four cars back and this guy was going, guys are fucking zinger burger and uh, no lettuce. And you could hear the thing going, like, and he's like, no lettuce. No lettuce. <laughs> and he got out of the car and stormed like round the side to where the thing was. And you could hear him shouting, just like, I don't want fucking lettuce in a burger, you dopey cunt. <laughs> and just went back and got in the car. <laughs> just like, fucking crazy. Oh, oh pick the lettuce out, mate. Don't, I don't, 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 don't worry. stab anyone. A ne- of never my, worry about lettuce. Never worry about lettuce. A couple of my mates were actually in the drive through McDonald's and they ordered like a large drink. And they, they captured this <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> Hold on. They're drinking three stars, mate. Uh, they're putting a half bottle in it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they did one of those, like, fire in the hole things where they, like, they Sorry. throw, they, like, get a drink and then they launch it back at the person. And they're supposed to, like, drive off afterwards. But the car stalled. So the person, like, there was a person picking up rubbish outside. Stopped them. Got arrested. Fucking hell. Bad crack. I have a mate used to do that. Go into McDonald's sick. and buy his mixer. For, for his wee carry out whatever he was drinking Seriously? outside when he was about 14 and he went in one time he wanted a milkshake but he also wanted to get drunk and he didn't have enough money to buy a coke he just bought a large strawberry milkshake and threw a wee quarter bottle in it oh fuck that was it, it, it curdled instantaneously your That's mate your mate Alex Higgins my, my mate Fergal actually yeah. he's living in Singapore now with a model is he a pro? Is it? no 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 he's, uh, he's, <laughs> no, no, he's not funny enough. That's kind of like that, a bit of material I do what's that? a bit of material is that called? Yeah, pray yeah. tell the bit about some guy that you used to know who's a bit of a todger. And not, like, that's, that's actually right enough. I've never, um, Fergal is, we live with him. Um, I live, I grew up with him, like went to primary school and stuff. Ugliest guy in the world. What's the right? second name? Hendron. Hey, Fergal. I know who that is. Before. Do you know Fergal Hendron? Yeah. Curly I hair. grew up in your class, yeah. Curly hair? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I do know who Um, cause I, he used to be, he used to have like these massive ears. You can't see now because of his hair, but he used to have a short back and sides and his head's quite oblong shaped. Um, but when, yes, we, were, when we were in school, he'd really, God love him, like he'd really bad head, like a shoebox. Buck teeth. No, his, his, his head <laughs> was the shape of a question mark, right? Because his, his chin was round about, but just below his ear, kind of thing. And he got he got his teeth fixed, and all of a sudden, manager? all of a sudden, women loved him. And it, see, the, he's he's living in Singapore with this girl, and it's it's a it's a brilliant story. Like he just met this girl and went, "We're having a party in Lurgan. Do you want to come down?" And in then, Singapore? No, no, he, she, he, she was like traveling through Ireland, stopped off in Korean. Why? I don't know. But then went down for a wee party. And then two years down the line, he's sunned himself out in Asia. 
Jesus. And she's a model? What? You're big man. Yep, she was in like a Monarch Street Preachers video. <laughs> so. Your <laughs> <laughs> so fucking it? female in has got us, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and what? That's amazing. What, what a, saying that, like, what do models do, really? Swallow, apparently. Take yeah. cocaine <laughs> as well. Huh? Apparently, take cocaine. Yep. Yeah. And, they're they're cook, and they like lick. Public toilet walls to make themselves ill. Read or, that. Uh, yep. Are you serious? Read yeah, that really? somewhere. Like they lick it and it's, there's so much dirt. They're just like. What ever happened to the classic finger down the throat? Fuck! I watched <laughs> this. Thing, I watched this thing the other night, right? And the girl <laughs> had a cut on her knuckle because she was forcing her fingers out her throat that hard that the, the, her teeth were ripping yeah. skin off the thing. That's dedication to your art. That's yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fucking fuck skinny girls. Hell no! I don't like no skinny women. Big fat pegs. I want something. I I want something that makes a slapping noise. Yeah. When you <laughs> throw your hips in, I want it to sound like a bitch sending waves you know I mean? of like, fat like, up her back, like the tides just coming in. You hear that gentle lap. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking Mickey, about. Mickey, every every conversation that every, like you've ever had, I always manage to turn it into um, those, those embarrassing little things that have happened to me. Yeah. During coitus. <laughs> coitus. Yeah. It's fancy talk for Mac, Raiden. Mac, the no us, pants dance. Tell us one it. fat embarrassing bitches. Story. I'm not. I'm not telling any of the embarrassing. Stories. Tell us the. Tell us the. The finger nurse one. I'm not telling. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> I just slept them at twenty. <laughs> I don't know if it's if this is suitable for internet radio. Uh, <laughs> no, that's that's why we're doing it on the internet. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Say, what, merch, say whatever the fuck you want to say, you cunt. You're How long does spark us up? You'll not get this on blast anyway. <laughs> no, welcome to blast. Here's Mickey Bartlett talking about finger and anus. Let's go. <laughs> I, no, I, I want... Wait, so we're live with Mickey Bartlett. Mickey, tell me about the finger and the anus. Tell me about that. You're live with <laughs> Funny you're story, live The hot rod of shite. Um, like no, I was, I, I was... I was. What did you say there? The hot rod of shite. Wait a minute. Huh? I don't know that I... Shite rod? Go on. Mickey, keep talking there, big lad. Stop uh, by sucking your fag off there and tell the story. So, don't just, call him that. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a name. Name is Callum. Uh, am I telling the story or am I not? Yeah, right, tell the story. Aye, right, so, was, in, was, was going out with a girl. Don't at, do the gay voice. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just I'm nervous. I was going out with a girl at one stage. And do you, have you ever been with a girl who has, who, who's, a who's enjoyed a dick before you went out with her? <laughs> and without... <laughs> Her, appreciation. Her, her family's basically in tatters, right? <laughs> it, do, like do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it, yeah, it's like a, a ripped tennis ball. Yes, it was. It was it ripped was, out fireplace. Imagine, right? If you, if, you, if you dipped, if, you remember in Ghostbusters two, whenever the bath fills with pink shit. Imagine if you got a sock and just covered it in that, right? That's <laughs> or a legging, maybe, right? That's like the the leg of a jean. That's the kind of the kind of family we're dealing with here, right? And in fact, it was so big at one point there was thirty three Chilean miners looking up at me, <laughs> <laughs> right? And uh, I I'd, I'd, uh, <coughs> went to a formal, and my mate wanted to go to a party, and I wanted to go to this party. But this girl at the time was going, "No, that's let's go back." It was the first time we were going to um, fully consummate the relationship, and she said, "Let's go back to mine, and we'll 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 do that thing you've been looking to do for the past two months, uh, riding." And I was like, "Grand," and we went back to her, and I was I was pissed drunk, but. Do you know when, do you know when you're pissed and if you're if you're wearing a condom, you can't feel. Well, before anything's happened. But yeah, I just wore them in, <laughs> yeah. in case need a piss in the taxi. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I don't think this is the story I was thinking of, but go ahead. Um, no, it's just the longer version. Right. And what happened then was we were we were doing it, we were doing it doggy style, and she she did have quite a large vagina, and I don't have a terribly big penis either, so I was kind of hoping to hit the edges because I knew I wasn't hitting the back of it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was kind of just, if I can make a lip tangle up a ground. Slug on a slug machine. Thing. But we're doing a doggy set and I had previously, do you know when I was kind of bored looking around the room and then I remembered a conversation that I'd had with a friend of mine who'd uh, done his girlfriend up the chuff. Up the wrong <laughs> Up the wrong one. And uh, looking down and seeing this wee, the wee, the wee, that wee, be- the wee smelly belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty bullet hole. <laughs> 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 And uh, decided in in my drunken state, ah, uh, you know what she'd really enjoy? She'd love it if I slept a digit up that. <laughs> <laughs> so so what I did then was 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 put my pinky in it, and with, without even without even a moment of thought, she just kicked me right. But you have to imagine she was in the doggy style position, so when she kicked me, she looked like a horse. And I think the intention would be that I'd fly across the room like like in the Matrix. But what happened was I just winced and then bent my finger. <laughs> So on the first time I, I, I consummated a relationship with that particular woman, I basically turned her into a hand puppet. <laughs> what did she do then? Did she ba- tie you back off? 
Yeah, it was a weird. She was all, "Why, why did you do that?" And I was all, "I thought it was running a tree." And then, and then it <laughs> this was, isn't the story we were thinking of, is it called? What, can't, what story are you thinking of? I the was, one we were about the slightly yeah. older uh, lady. Oh, yeah. No, You're not telling that one. Don't, don't, oh, don't even tell that. There's nothing don't funny with that story. That. that just makes me look like a dirty fucker. <laughs> no, it makes her look like it. Is it? Well, yes. It makes you look respectable, Mickey. It makes me look respect. I'm not telling that story. Yeah, well, I'm not, not, I'm not Mick, telling that that story. Mickey, that story you you can't go from telling that to telling this. That this story is worse because. The, the second that's it. that other one's far far worse and i'm just not telling it this podcast is dripping with filth it is it is yeah. wait till you get the dirt in the end it's disgusting oh. it fits the bill nicely it definitely does that's a bit like a friend of mine who had seen way one too many pornos and was slipping a digit in a woman and had seen in the pornos where they remove digit and place in mouth of said female what? and they love it so he was going at it like a, what was a Frankie boy said? Like a blind kid trying to get peanut butter out of a jar. <laughs> <laughs> right? Whipped it out and went to stick his fingers in my mouth. Like, I should fuck, I love this. And she's like, get the fuck away from my face. What the fuck are you doing, you sick cunt? I'm not putting that. Beat up my fucking date. <laughs> Put up my dad. Oh, dirty, stinking dirty, dirty bastards! Is it time for a song? I think it is time for a song. I always find it quite weird the way your Willie bends when you try to put it up there. Right next, uh, <laughs> <coughs> or you think uh, you're in, but you're not, Mike. Okay. You're not. You're this, not at all. What's the next tune? Well, the first time I watched the porn, it, it resembled the first <laughs> the time. Porn. It was the first time I. It resembled the first time I watched, I watched UFC because I was just in a blind well, panic. Going, Stop it! You're going to hurt her. <laughs> <laughs> She's clearly not enjoying that. <laughs> Big darky. <laughs> <laughs> the name of this podcast, uh, Fenian and Darky. Casual uh, racism, though, I don't mean it. Because uh, uh, Mickey Bartlett is both Catholic and black, so yeah. it's fine. <laughs> Word, uh, black Makara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we've got uh, Child Rebel Soldier, which has something to do with Pharrell in it, but the tune's good. Play the fucking cunt out of it. Ugh. Mickey, tell us one more story. Oh. What? It's actually a decent tune. It's good. I like that. It's tunage. Do you have questions from the fans? <laughs> I do. I actually have a few uh, oh. comedy related ones which I'll fire out to. People watching Find Me the Funny with it? Uh, yep. What? What's, what's, what's that? Don't know what that is, Mickey. Um, what TV show have you been on, Rocky? So, what was it? So- <laughs> <laughs> He's had fucking four brilliant films out, right? Uh, Oscar, do you with it? <laughs> actually, had six, right? Where's that BAFTA? Aye. <laughs> uh, uh, Hannah Livingstone asked oh, a question. Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fucking GMTV, sorry, Mickey. Sorry, right, in all honesty, what made you guys want to become comedians? In all honesty, don't fucking lie to me here. <laughs> don't fucking do any of your whimsical <laughs> joke stuff. Don't tell me it's the money, because it never is. Uh, right. The need to feel that Take you your time. need to do it. Obviously. The, the feeling that you need to do it. That's a bit deep. That's after a bit of funny. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a wee drop a wee drop of family I'm in it for the Northern Ireland groupie scene of comedy oh. which there's one and it's Mickey <laughs> so no I, what makes you in the comedy I don't know there's no I don't feel the need to analyse it that much it's just some, that's like saying what made you get into a hobby just because like, you, you want to do it, it once and then you, you can't not do it again yeah do you know what I mean Colin you'd be the newest comic here what What would you say you'd probably be I was there. saying to you I was saying to Shane the other night it's just like Without thinking too much about it, it's just something I do now amongst other stuff. It's not like, I wasn't saying like, it's not like a job or it's not like just a bit of fun. It, but you got, uh, you make it look effortless as well for somebody like, how many gigs have you done? Nine. Like that's fucking, uh, my, how long had you been doing comedy before you done nine gigs? About six months. Yeah. Longer. I had, I had technically been doing it two years because I, I dabbled. For three or You've four been doing stand up for what four years? No, well, I only I only counted since the first time on the Empire, so that's two and a half years. Yeah, and we we've been doing the exact same time. Haven't we? Yep, yeah, and Rocky's doing it now as well. So it's, yeah. like, it's like a new scene taking off, kind of, which is good. That's even you as well, Rocky. Like for you, just jumped up and did it. Yeah. It's kind of weird. I was. Uh, did you book or anything before you went on? Do you ever have you ever threw up before you went on? No, I didn't no, do I that. Eight mile stage. moment. No. I've 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 I've. Bogged my ring up several times before I went on stage. Like, I still do. You still, I my nerves will be wrecked in some games. Depends what I'm doing. If I've done it before, it tends to be a bit better. 
But if it's a new place, then it will. Like tonight, we're getting for fucking footballers in Dungannon. I'll be nervous for that. That doesn't scare me as much as, say, when I did that 10 minutes of Black Box. Really? I was shiting myself. And like, like you get, I try and sort of put it in perspective and go, sure, they're there to see comedy. Don't worry about it. Just go up and talk. But then, see, when they say your name, you get that insane, like, surge of fucking panic. You go, oh, fuck, I'm going to actually get up in it. Hello. The brilliant thing is when you hey, do it, it? If, you, if you ever do it, like, and, and you come off stage and people go, oh, you were brilliant. That was really good. I like this and like that. And you can't remember saying it. Yeah. You know, you've done a brilliant gig. Yeah, exactly. Because there, you need there, the there's a bit of your brain that just goes, you can go to sleep. I've got it from here. Yeah. But it's good to panic because your brain is working way quicker than it normally does because you're panicked and you're talking and no one else is talking to you. Yeah. And you're just going. It's easy too, though, in a way sometimes because all you have to do is make people laugh and you can like, you make everyone laugh. You're just doing it on a, with a lot more pressure. Yeah. But that can work better as well. I suppose that got quite deep there, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Three yeah. seconds ago, I was talking about trying to anally finger someone. And, <laughs> well, and now, in a way, it's now kind I'm of giving, similar. Now, now I'm giving that advice Two, about how to make people laugh. Four minutes ago, I was, but you know, you. <laughs> what was it? Uh, Take a wee pen out of your mouth, son. What'd you say? <laughs> is that what your nickname is? <laughs> There's uh, another two questions here. One from Sean Haggerty. Hi, Sean Haggerty. Mm. Sorry, of the show. sorry about not coming on the show this morning, but I couldn't be hold. Yeah, sorry, sorry about not. Uh, I, I'm you didn't ask me. This this question is actually directed to you, Mickey. All oh, right, brilliant. Hello. It says Mickey Bartlett. How do you spell tongue? <laughs> that's that's another dirty story. That's not the background to that. I I was once dirty texting. Uh, my girlfriend, my current girlfriend, we just started going out. You know, when that stage, you're, you're my sending each other. My current girlfriend? My current girlfriend, when you're sending each other, we. She feels secure after that. Take your dirty messages, you know, that we can't wait to. to Bucket. Yeah, get, I do, but you try and. I'm going to do a buck on it, you. It's, it's, you try and make it that nice that your phone goes, are you sure you want to send this? This is two SMSs long. Yeah. That kind of thing. And Sean was there, and I, I couldn't figure out how to spell tongue, right? And I was all, how do you spell tongue? And Sean told me, and I was all, oh, that doesn't make sense. He's all, what do you mean? I was like, I just told her I want to tease her with her town with my town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! Oh, so my answer <laughs> to that question is uh, tongue is spelled T U N G tongue. Right. Uh, last one directed to Mickey once again from Fuck Willis sick. Rockaman Lowry. Mickey, would you say Ardlo Hannon has been an influence on your comic style, as your two acts could be considered similar? Ooh, he's seen you at. Fa- F, I think it's supposed to be Fat Joes and Lurgan. Fat Joes? Fat Joes, yeah. Mickey's basically calling you an Ardlo Hanlon Call me an Ardlo Hanlon tribute act. But if not, what's, I don't, what, what's the biggest b- influence? Eh. You're not like Ardlo Hanlon. I wouldn't, not because I'm funny, like. Yeah. But, <laughs> oh! But he's just... Mickey way calls he does, Dougal shit. <laughs> he does it like, I'm a bit of a fucking div type of thing. Which you don't do. Yeah, I'm naive to everything. Yeah. Kind of thing, yeah. Yeah. These are essential oils. And I don't have any of them. Fuck off. That's quite funny. <laughs> this is a must-see film. Mickey's right now, dog. I'm right. <laughs> I love Ardle. Mickey's open with that in Dungan. Hang on, what was that guy's name? The, uh, uh, Willis, someone? No, the long bit. What was he called up there? All right, hold on a minute. Blurt Sniffer, Larry. Blurt Sniffer. <laughs> Dung Shoveler McShane. <laughs> all it the way from the town. Was Willis Rockerman Lowry? Larry. By the way, by the way, you were awesomely funny that night. Told uh, the uh, Jesus three days after the resurrection joke a few times. Lol. Mickey, that was written in the font Sarcasmo. <laughs> Sarcasmo. <laughs> it wasn't Tempest Sands, no? Italics bold and underlined to us. You just got it. Comic people Sans, are asking me questions. Uh, I, I, I feel like I want to slag him off. I don't know. Cause is it Dude, a good thing to, it, to be... To be Is he comparing me or is he saying I'm ripping him off? I don't know. No, no, no. He's saying... No, he's saying, no, I don't think he's saying he's, 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 it was like a compliment. I think. So I don't really he's, he's trying to mug you people, off. No, when people say you have a style and stand up, stand up, all you do is stand you're up. St- you're offended immediately. But yeah, but you're standing there talking. Like that's that's the style of most stand ups. It's like when someone goes, "Joe, you look a bit like," and then they tell you who they think you look like, and you're like, "Fuck off!" I am a sexy. Cu-. Do you know what I mean? Someone goes, "Oh, you look like such and such," and you're like, "No, I don't. No, no, I don't." Yeah. It's nice when you get a nice one. I once got told I looked a bit like Chris Fountain from Hollyoaks. I was, I was skinnier and had more hair at the time. Who's Chris and Fountain? then within the space of a year, someone went, Do you know sometimes when you raise your eyebrows, I got you look like Jack Nicholson. Raise your eyebrows? That's a good one. It's on Cali. Yeah. That's a cracker. You joker. Huh? Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, 
But no, what was the? I get so I don't know who. Like I don't know. Every I you asked me a question before one time for that thing. Every, you get influenced by everybody. Doing stand up, don't you? Like Tommy Tiernan, I always Tommy Tiernan's my favorite. Whether comedian. you know it or not, you whether you know it or not, yeah. Too. I find as well. There's times that when I'm writing material, I'll, I'll if I read it back to myself, it tends to sound like that's why I don't write it down. It sounds like the last comedian I've been watching on DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll go. Which back is why now when I'm writing material, I always watch Find Me the Funny. <laughs> YouTube it. There's a <sighs> channel. Who's who is your favorite? Who's your favorite comedian? Though? I've loads of. I don't. I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody has one. Is there anyone that like you would like to be, kind of like, as far as their style goes? I don't know because like after a certain amount of time, if, if people say, I remember being told once that someone said, "Oh, you're you're very like Tommy Tiernan," and I thought that's class. And then the more and more I thought about it, you you although I don't like the fact that you're supposed to have a style, you are supposed to have one. Yeah. Do you know? So you'd like to be. I wouldn't mind being said I was as funny as someone. Do you know? Yeah, but your style. But if your style was the same as someone, although it's hard to do in this day and age because every. Dezo Gorman. Dezo Gorman, what a guy! What about you, Shane? Um, I don't know. Is there anyone that you like? You I've go, been compared. I, I to, like their style. I like. Um, I like people with really distinctive styles, like Russell Brand's style and Cat Williams, who you introduced me to. The only person I've ever been compared to being like is, I, I don't see the comparison because I haven't seen enough of his stuff, was, remember me and Mickey did the first braid? Mm -hmm. Steve Coogan. But I don't know what he's Steve Coogan Steve Coogan's stuff. It's all character stuff, it's though. It's all character. It's all character stuff. Yeah, just but that way. was somebody in Ballymena. Like somebody in, that was, that. That's the only fucking stand-up comedy and I've seen That's on the box. So that's the thing, because in Ballymena, like that joke I tell about the woman who came up and told me um, that she didn't like my deaf, this material where I, I talk like a deaf person. Like, that was a, 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 a true story where a woman came up and complained in case a deaf person heard me saying something. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's, the, that's, that's the important thing is that you do get retards coming up and talking to you after gigs. Yeah. yeah. Not all the time. Some people are lovely. Well, the majority Others, of people are lovely. Majority, most people are lovely, but you, you don't you remember the nice ones. You remember the retards. Yeah. You you rare you wouldn't you would rarely get a thick comedian that doesn't know what they're talking about. We know a few. Don't we? You know get there'd be yeah. a few, but it, it's not like you're you're just going. Oh, I'm going to fucking talk about racism because it's. You would have something that might be a bit touchy, but you've thought about it well enough, so yeah. it's not like offensive because you're usually pointing something out that's like. There's nothing worse than watching someone who is trans stand up and trying to be a bit edgy. Trying to be offensive. People that try and yeah be controversial and go. Trying to be controversial this. for the sake of being controversial is ridiculous, though. Yeah, I don't. I I I enjoy people being controversial when it's funny. Yeah, Do you know, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be clever. You know, pointing out other people's ignorance. Yeah, says the man who says the not seven and, and a half minutes ago made fun of black people. Yeah, but I didn't mean that. Do you know, I was doing that in an ironic way. Yeah. Should we roll on? Yeah, I mean, blood. Yeah, have you another questions before we... I think we'll, we'll probably play a tune and then come back to more questions and yeah. maybe a wee phone call from Rick. Cause we've got terrible serious. So yeah, we're joined here by Tommy Tiernan and Steve Coogan. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Sylvester Sloan as well. Have you ever noticed? Oh, God. Have you ever noticed? Who says that? Steve Coogan's wee stand-up character. Have you ever seen that? It's no, like a I've really bad stand-up. And he goes, Fuck, there's, a new, there's a new thing called observational comedy. Observational comedy. So here we go. And then he goes, have you ever noticed? <laughs> He's like, I'm a right cunt, me. That's <laughs> very funny. Tune. What are we playing? This is Rotten. Task Horizon. Focus Locust. S -s -brr -pl -pl Zinger. Tar. Meal. Dropping beats like a motherfucker up in this bitch. What was that again? What was it called? That was indeed Task Horizon. Uh, focused Locust. Fairly hefty in the middle there. For the seasoned pill muncher. <laughs> <laughs> it was substantial alright, wasn't it? Pills yeah. with a scarf. You wouldn't know hefty. I'm going to phone Richard W. Crothers, creator of Panic Dots and co-creator of Audio Picnic. I'm going to fire a wee question at him as well that one of the fans have put up on the page. Okay. I'm going to ring him now. Rocky, just... can I have a question? Yeah. 
Go for it. We're just going to Can you ask for a question for me? Do you want me to type <coughs> one for you? Or? How many Dunno. sugars do I take in my tea? Go. Tea. Well yes, we're, yeah, we're recording. Here. Yeah, what's up? How's that? We've got Bartlett. Happening. Shane Todd. Yes, mate. And Rocky. Yo! Dan sick or something. Dan sick. Dan fucking just the house because it's a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Here, how's your, how's, how's your new haircut treating you? Uh, it's going good. I've been told that I can get it fixed as soon as I get back to Belfast. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit yellow. A bit yellow, is it? You look like Philip Seymour Hoffman. Can you hear me? Can Rick hear me there? From Tekken 3, some bastard out of Tekken 3, I look like a bastard. Tekken 3? Yeah. They got fairly niche, didn't they? Yeah. One of the, one of the guys actually put up on the the oh, website here, thoughts on Richard's... Hold on, Rocky, Rocky's got a question. What is it? We were saying our thoughts on Richard's new yellow minge beard. Thoughts on Richard's new yellow minge beard from one of her fans on Audio Picnic. <laughs> Okay, here. Uh, so, how's the tour going? Uh, cool. Fucking every, all the shows are like, uh, sold out and stuff. Uh, it's loads of big long drives, but... Where is he? It's cool. Uh, uh, it's really cool, yeah. And I got to wash my clothes fucking yesterday. So Brilliant. I don't have to wear Where are you? Dirty clothes anymore. Where are you now? <laughs> oh, do you know what? I brought like six audio, or five audio picnic tops, so that's all I've been wearing. Nice. I saw you had a picture on your on your Facebook. Were, were they fans that just got a picture with you? Yeah, just fucking fans of the Richard W. Brothers, you know? Were they? How much did yeah. he pay for them? I'm fucking world renowned. I'd like to know where he is again. Uh, Shane wants to know where you are in the world. Uh, fucking near Manchester, like going towards Middlesbrough. Of course he is. Of course you are. That's Jeez. disgusting. Here, what yeah. what's the craziest things happened on tour? Uh, everyone, <laughs> everyone. I came back into uh, a room in, a, in one of the hotels, and everyone had their ball bags out with three smiley faces drew on them with permanent markers. <laughs> so, I was waiting for you to tell me some story there about groupies and cocaine, f- cocaine and banging and all, but there's just a bunch of dudes with their sacks out. Yeah, I'm sure it does with them mad cunts. <laughs> can you get me something signed by General Fiasco? Uh, Shane Todd wants to know if you can get him something signed by General Fiasco. Oh, I have no problem. Get your ball back signed. <laughs> get your ball back signed. <laughs> That'll be fantastic. Uh, I don't think they'd have enough ink. Oh, uh, oh. For Shane's ball Bartlett's bag. just back from taking a shite there. It was the weirdest shit ever, by the way. I don't want to hear about it. It was kind of two long, thin one bits. Oh fuck! I hope not. The I hope not. Together. Right, Rick. I'm gonna go here because we're actually recording this live. Yes, lad. All right, take it easy. All the best. See you later. Bye. 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 Kiss. Kiss. But big hairy poof. Ah, <laughs> uh, not a poof. Be- Living the dream, Rick is. Be- so he's on tour with General Fiasco, and he said he walked in the hotel room, and uh, they all had their ball bags out with faces drawn on them. For real? Brilliant. That's... I reckon, how much Quim does your wee man out of John Fiasco get? We own. He's... Dripping on it, He's bought it? vaults to leave it in. Did he's we, see, we see him like walk up, up the street? I love yeah, John Fiasco, don't I? Yeah. yeah. Here, by the way, do I love John Fiasco? <laughs> Doing that? Minj be falling out of his pocket. He's getting so much of it. Terrible. I'd love to be in a band because you would. You'd have, you'd have funny hanging off you. But you being a Wolf Tones tribute band, you be getting them. Yeah, they still get bucked when you want to see them. It's the long way to Tipperary. <laughs> Buck me. <laughs> <laughs>
Who the fuck's that? No lie, the fields. Oh, fuck, here comes another one. Oh, that's me. Really. <laughs> Do the Danny boy. Oh, Danny boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Danny boy. <laughs> the wife, the wife, she's calling. <laughs> but I'm not picking up the phone because I'm riding this young groupie. <laughs> say hello, Quiva. Tell me, yeah. <laughs> say you, you say hello now, Siobhan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sean I'll just, Connery? I'll just, take oh. this, I'll just take this out of your mouth. Say hello now, Siobhan. Hiya. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How's yes. it going? Yes, mate. Say it, my boys. It's been terribly informal in here. What are we talking about? God, have we got anything to talk about? I can fire a few more questions. Are we? Yeah. Don't Sh- waste them all because the whole last section's questions. <laughs> Alright, well, no, no, no. Then we'll just leave it for it. How many have you got? Have you got some? Yeah, I've got a couple here. Do you any juice, Rocky? Ask me. Uh, uh, go give us a question there and we'll see if we can run with it for 10 minutes. Yes, fridge. Uh, well, we already discussed thoughts on Richard's minge beard. Yeah. Um, I got one. Oh, right, this is great. <laughs> You're uh, really disappointed. Uh, oh. <laughs> Glenn Burton asks, what's your favourite one-liner? I know. The wine gums one. Is Glenn Burton is getting a skirt. Eh? The wine, my wine gums that, Yeah, that's my favourite one-liner. That's not a bad one. You're into, I, fit, you're into fitness? What about fitness? Fitness in your mouth. And I got one. Sorry. I got that. Get in the van. I heard a class one. It was like, if a guy's chatting up a girl, he goes, here, did I tell you I've stopped going to the gym? And she goes, why? And you go, because I'm fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> and just flex completed it uh, fucking I, game over chum I like uh, my mate has one where he says uh, he used to walk up to girls and go I might not be the best looking bloke here but I'm the only one talking to you I quite like that <laughs> I'm not the best riding the theme park but there's no queue uh, I like that one Who said you, that? you don't sweat much for a fat lass who said that Chris Abraham Lincoln wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy Chris McCurry has a song called you don't sweat much for a fat lass really yeah. maybe that's where it came from man. He's a, he's a mate of mine, like. Do you know, do you know Adam Cunningham? Yeah. He, he says he, he likes to, he likes the idea of being able to walk up to a girl and just look her up and down and go, I can't have that fat. I, I personally don't think it's chauvinistic and wrong. Because he has the looks and the charisma to pull that off, doesn't he? I reckon he is a charismatic fellow, you know. Ugly cunt, isn't he? Ugly. He's dropped a bit of beef, like. Aye, but there's a certain amount of ugliness you can't drop. Do you ever hear about the story of his first night in McGee? When they played Kings? I had to trail him out from my doorway one time because he was passed out in front of the oh, door. I can get out of the flat. He's a, he's a terrible pass rider. I remember seeing being out drinking with him and he'd had a carry out before we went out. And I had no idea he was drunk until he missed two curbs. Like fell down one and then fell up the <laughs> other one. In, in concession. And then I just thought, you or succession. In concession, that means he'd he done a cheap. He got money off. <laughs> <laughs> Way pay. <laughs> Favourite one-liner. Probably that you in the fitness. I've never used a one liner bar getting the course. You, what is it you in the fit? You in the fitness? What about fitting this in your mouth? Motions to penis? <laughs> <laughs> Nods to I, I say that bit as well. Motions to penis. I, I quite like whenever I say what's Bruce Lee's favorite drink. What? And, pe- and people respond with what? And then I go, no, can't it's Fanta. But that's, that's just great. material. That's just material, yeah. Oh, did he mean sandwiches? Up lines or did Sandwich. he mean? No, it's just Either. one-liners in general. Oh, right, one-liners. Uh... Actually, I heard a brilliant one from Kevin McAleer uh, on Thursday in Mason's Comedy Club Derry, if you're up, check it out. Um, but he said that uh, it's, it's a whole bit of material he does where he says when he was two, he, he didn't speak until he was about three, two or three, because he was afraid of what people would say. And he says that his mum used to talk to him when he was a kid, and his mum would have a spoonful of food, and she would go, Kevin, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? And he says, uh, I'm not fucking eating it. If you don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's quite good. I thought you were going to say, I don't like what's it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That might work better. I don't know. I like that. Have you any, have you any juice, Rocky? I'll give you, I'll give you money for it. Like. It, yeah, come I'm on. I'm not doing it. Rocky, Rocky's uh, the biggest juice dealer in Botanic. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting jailed next month. I know. It's tragic. Dealing too much juice. He got caught dealing my money to some Romanian children. Yeah. You bet us. You so bet fucking Pepsi. Mid podcast, Bartlett just you know, helps himself to the fridge. What is that, Mick, that you're about to get for a drink? Dear Rocky, God. is that is that chicken in your fridge still? 
Uh, no, it's a different chicken than the last chicken. There was, was a bowl of chicken bit. bits that just lay there for months. Mickey, so far I you've broken it. podcast etiquette by going for a shit during chat and then going for a can of coke. He's actually fishing me a quid for... Here, take that. At least he had the decency to leave the room. Dan Watson shits in the corner like a cat. <laughs> it's like all you hear, you know, in the middle of the podcast is... <laughs> tune? Get a tune on. Get I a tune. I just jizzed coke on my chin there. This tune, <laughs> this tune's ratting. It's example, dirty face. Rocky, you'll love us. Banger remix, bitch. Oh, banger remix. Banger. Banger. As in banger boy. Let's go to banger. Go on, fucking. I go on those bloody swans, in it. I went to. I went to banger with Barry the Blender. <laughs> <laughs> Fat bastard didn't fit in a duck. In the rent too. Ra 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 about you. That is what I am saying. <laughs> Get away the fuck, Thomas. <laughs> you fat bastard. I just like saying. You rat bastard. You fucking mook. I need to nip into Soif Mountain and get a pair of fucking Bermuda shorts. Debenhams. <laughs> June stores. <laughs> <laughs> That indeed was. Example with Dirty Face, the mother fucking banger remix, bitch. Oh, banger. Was it not? <sighs> banger. You know what's great and everyone should check out? Magnetic Man. Their album was released there on the 11th. Aye, uh, good lad himself. Word. Great bunch of lads, him. g Bull. Them. Colin. It's Benga screaming some other guy that I can't remember. Whatever, chum. Uh, <laughs> Fucking king of dub over there. <laughs> we dumb on his I know where it's at. Are we going to doms after this? Yeah. Are you phoning it like fuck? Oh. Probably, yes. Ch- chicken kickers and all? Are you just wearing that shit to the gig tonight? I got a wee shirt in there, mate. I'm tempted sure. to go home. If I'm anything, a, I'm a throw a wee shirt on myself. Should I change? If, if anything... Are we on? I we recording on me? If anything... Yeah. yeah. I dress down. So I. I just, he, he's, he's wearing a penguin suit at the minute. I'm actually doing a full-on <laughs> dress rehearsal for uh, the Empire. I'm wearing exactly what I'm wearing at the Empire tonight. Yeah. Not a waistcoat joke. Flowery no. shirt? No, not that. Not that. Blue, plain black number. Really? You don't want... Don't just dress like yourself. I do, yeah, but a word out. Just dress like yourself, dude. Plain black shirt. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Like to look smart casual, I think. Not not a blazing... Shoes or them shoes? Oh, I'm wearing these here, bad boys. Oh, fucking right, do you know what I mean? This is by far the weirdest podcast we've ever recorded so Why? Because it's fingering fucking brown stars and now you're talking about (laughs) colour of shoes. (laughs) (laughs) Brown stars? (laughs) Like you collected them in Sonic? (laughs) 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 <laughs> <laughs> you got 25 brown stars <laughs> <laughs> should I play that clip just on my phone of Mickey's demented laugh and I'd be real here drinking uh, if it's loud enough is it loud enough justice yeah I'll do it right into the mic so you don't, don't mix it up with the laugh. one Did I have a chest infection this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you entered another dimension you laughed that hard have you yeah. heard this Mickey no I don't think so right, you tried to play me one but it ended here up here Hold on, hold on. No, there's a better one. There's a better one. There's a better one. This is it. This is it. Just make it. You sound like you're dead. <laughs> you that's Bronk that's Albert Ferranti smoking right there. Just was that the funniest night ever? ever? That may ever. have been. That was hilarious. It was yeah. the. Be- it was just a great night. I, I I am still just can't get over the fact that. I th- was that the point whenever I dropped in that video did I fall to the floor laughing uh, I think yeah. we all I, was ended up ca- on the floor? I, I, I can safely say that Mickey bought it from Find Me The Funny <laughs> was emotionally floored <laughs> I laughed, so, Gattis, I laughed so hard I pissed blood the next day oh, <laughs> didn't really I, I but didn't. I was unrelated so oh. I, I like woke up the next morning going a fucker has wiped his nose in my new hat <laughs> and it was clearly me <laughs> <laughs> in my sleep just going uh. I was like uh you know, like a wee toddler with a coat that was too big, and I couldn't, I was just on my back like a tortoise because I couldn't move. Just like, and my knee was fucked, so I couldn't move at all. I was just like, help me, mommy. <laughs> I was some crack like. So Shane's just went, got up and answered the phone there like oh, a cunt. How rude. People's just been walking around, going to the toilet, picking up drinks and answering phones around here. Ridiculous. I paid for a drink. You did? Yeah, you did. You're Good welcome. Man, Mickey. I'm sweating. Through the nose, my dad. I got a few questions here. Go ahead, dude. Word. Uh, we're in Belfast, is it best? Or could you get the best pint of Stella? Or does the best pint of Stella? I think Stella's Not a lot of places do Stella on not top. Not a lot of places do them. And Stella, I don't particularly like it. Therefore, Stella to me... Oh, I want to fuck into Danny Dyer doing a podcast with his mates here. Yeah, I don't know my price. Do Stella on top. Do that, I might. The best, quote, the best quote I ever heard from Simon Lackey. He goes, uh, this is the other day. 
I, we were talking about being someone. I said I was drinking Peronis, and he goes, "Hi, Stella's wee gay brother." <laughs> <laughs> he didn't really. He went, "Hi, Stella's wee gay brother." You know, For- Lavery's as well. Lavery's does Buckfast on tap. Oh, that's, yeah, you can get that Lurgan. Does as well. That's mental. Well, obviously they also do. Yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah. Lavery sell bad boys like the leader <laughs> Stella's. I, s- I had about I'd fucking. Kill people. I had about 11 of them in there one night. Bottle a bit the way. I decided that I'm going to get a wee top for this gig. You're going to go and buy a wee top, are you? Uh-huh. I, can't, I put on that much beef, uh-huh. I can't wear wee tops anymore. <laughs> Fuck Where me. are you going, Top Shop? Could do, could do. I might go down to Rossi's up down the street. It's nice. Yeah, we'll go there, I might buy a new hat. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Mickey might buy a cravat. You, you still got your BBC money, eh? Yep. I mean, I've have a bollocks. Having a penny. I have <laughs> over half of it. Sure. Let's not talk about account details. Uh... Brian McDonald co- asks, Monster or Red Bull? Obviously, that's directed at me. Monster, Brian. Don't be stupid. Come Brian on. McDonald invited me to his house to watch Fighting the Night. Fighting? How, How are you not fighting? going? Because, I don't know. Who's Fighting the Night? Is your fight on? Bisping, Akiyama. Oh, why? Uh, Hardy, Hardy, Carlos Condit. And, uh. M2000 Port in Ireland. Right? <laughs> yeah. Here's a. Here, Akiyama! Get your fuck out. What? <laughs> Weird question. Uh, where's the weirdest place you've had a shit? Um, it's Michael Jordan. Someone else's toilet's just always a weird place to have a to have a shit. Well, I once had a shit. Uh, there's a guy. The relay I, team at Sean's. The, the relay, the relay team at Sean's. The, the hangover relay. It was a nightmare. I had a shit. Mickey was about to tell me. I, there's a. There, I once had a poo. Do, do you know you you said quite quite aptly whenever do you know when you bump into someone. When you need to go for a crap, when you have that kind of weird, really? yes, mate, yes, 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 brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yep, yep, yep. Keep it going, keep um, it going. <laughs> I, I, I used to routinely, if I had to poo, go into a specific place in McGee University when I was up there. Right. Even now, if I have to poo when I'm in Derry, any time, I just, oops, you've got a text call. Um, but I uh, w- w- was going to this particular part because it's it's nice. The cubicles it's are big enough. Chest. No, but it's the cubicles <laughs> are sort of you know big enough that no one can peer over. You know, I I don't like you know like if you ever try to go for a poo in Queens. Like Queen's Union, and there's that we have a door, uh, and yeah. you know, even if you're sitting down, your head's over the top of us. There's no way you're getting doing that. <laughs> Is that uh, true? Yeah, they're, they're just really crap. But then I went in the McGee, and I was like, I met this guy, this guy Graham, and I was like, big, he's a big Scottish dude, and I was like, I know him, and yeah, and I eventually broke and got just had to go, dude, I I'm really need to go for a crap. Uh, can we cut this short, kind of thing? <laughs> and he went, and I, I I'm I'm weird with I like to poo alone. Yeah. And he kind of went, oh, that's dead on, that's sweet, mate. I need to do a bit of a shape myself. So he followed me into the, oh, right? What? And I noticed that two men will never be closer than when they're, when they're in opposite, like the cubicle next to each other, pooing at the same time. There's men <laughs> at war, don't get that relationship. So, like, he, and the, he, like we were talking, he was kind of talking through the wall, and it's it's weird when you're trying to, you know, pinch a loaf yeah. <laughs> and, and have an adult conversation and he's like oh mate I've got this new bud going you want to see her and I was like you know just thinking he'll, he'll show me a photo later I'm like yeah no sweat no sweat and then next thing this hand with an iPhone <laughs> came onto the cubicle I know who this guy is what, what as well weird it was, I couldn't work it I, I didn't know how to work an iPhone so I got to the point where I was trying to work it it turned off and I had to pass it back to him so he could get the photo open again and then pass it through. Oh, game with iPhone relay. Too much admin pooing. for that situation. So that, that too much admin. That's not the weirdest place, but the weirdest poo. It was Brian. Well, was it Brian? That's the yeah. It w- no, it wasn't. It was Michael Jordan. But I, um, I went to like this. Obviously, wasn't me. But I went to Sense. I went to. This wasn't me. No, I mean I went to Sense, but it wasn't me who was taking the shit. You went to Sense, you dirty spy. I know. In Kirkstown, it was awful. But I, I walked into the urinal and there was like. Loads of guys up in check shirts, obviously, like, <coughs> taking a piss. But there was one guy who was turned over, taking a shit, who looked identical to Owen Quigg, just taking a shit in the urinal. Quigg would do that. No I reckon, I reckon Quigg's Quigg. a loose cannon like that. Quigg no, he does anything for attention these days. Quigg would be there. Do you know who I am? I'm a one fucking Quigg, motherfucker. It's fuck really good to be here. Really good to be here. You're, just, you're pressing shit. He sounds Scottish. All right, let me try again. Evan! <laughs> <laughs> it's myself, Owen Quigg. <laughs> Straight to out the ox factor one. Shit on thing all right. Easy Feel the rhythm. <laughs> Feel the ride. Zaga zaga. <laughs> it's Bob Slate time. Oh Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Mr. Own Quig. <laughs> He's a big spastic. Shaggy <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> yeah, quite, my, remix, my, remix. I'm a big spastic. My dick's made of plastic. My balls are elastic. Could you know my video <laughs> I love Shaggy. Uh, me. Can we just drive around <laughs> with my head done gallon tight and just hang out the window and go, 
remix. <laughs> Just to anyone. Fuck it, take it down. Girl, you're my angel. <laughs> you're my darling. Oh, you know what? Just I you're my angel. Feature and Ravel. People who's in a car and then they kind of go. Oh, you're a green I, I'm gonna go. I should be true, Dad. <laughs> Shaggy just uh, came in there for a while. I got the love and that's on you, Dad. Yeah. Was a bee. <laughs> Shaggy, yeah. someone's done a rape. Yeah. <laughs> and it was you. <laughs> Wasn't me. No, it was. It really it was. Shaggy, mate, we we'll caught you on the sofa. <laughs> now, we've, we even got it on camera here, if you look. It wasn't me. But Shaggy, that's your face there, mate. We heard the words that you told her. <laughs> it wasn't me. Still the marks on her shoulder. But he talks like he sings Jamaican. Like All right, American. I did the rip. Oh. All right, I did the rip. It's like Sean Paul. Well, Sean Paul has a thing. Yeah, man! Slumming him, Duggan. That's Shaggy again, isn't it? He's white, too. Yeah. Any more questions there, Rockstar? Some McGuffin in. Uh, I think there's just one more. Do you fart in water? Yeah, I carry around. Do you mean that as in, is that the social etiquette, the way you said it like that? Do you fart in water? Or? I sometimes I bet fart. you there's a scene water to fart into. I, I, Dude, I, this is, I only fart in Avion. What do you think? I'm a pig. <laughs> Fart of it. You did a new tell you you must discuss and we can't listen, we can't hang about. What's that there classic? I don't think <laughs> I don't think we can prefer Ali Gowan, fucking pig. Well, yeah, that's well, I, I think oh. the last one that I'll leave you on is what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen? Ever? Think about it. <sighs> and that's from Mark Bell. Mark Bell doesn't uh, ask vague questions, does he? Scooby Doo fighting Darth Vader outside Santino's and Derry at Halloween. Proper digging. Proper digging. <laughs> and, yeah. And it was, do you know the, the Scooby Doo costumes? Like the, the, I actually do this on stage, but it, it did happen. Do so the, the Scooby Doo costumes were like the, you put your face inside Scooby Doo's mouth basically, so it looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And every time Darth Vader hit him, it, it wobbled a bit and it looked like Scooby Doo was actually chewing a man's <laughs> head. It was burning. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. And I think Darth Vader was either slightly asthmatic or in full character for the duration <laughs> of the fight. And like, how did it kick off? Like, how could I possibly kick off? I, I have no idea. I just looked around and Darth Vader had a bag full of Scooby snacks, waving them in his face, and Scooby was going fucking mad. And Darth Vader was all... We were just saying I ever saw it was down Hollywood. Uh, there was like, uh, it's like a, quite an industrial place, but it has part of the the water running through it, like the sea running through it. And you used to go there just to chuck stones, right, just in the water. And there were swans there, right? So obviously no one was chucking stones. Man parked, I was about six, seven. Man got out of his car, parked up, walked over, got not a stone, more of a rock, chucked it at one of the swans. I think he hit it, not in the head or anything. He was just a man, he looked like Granda. Just like stared at it for a couple more seconds, got in the car and drove off. That's quality. I actually think the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen was a girl in the doggy cell position kicking like a horse trying to shake me off her finger. Just trying to, <laughs> trying to shake herself off my finger, should I say. That's a weird thing. When you see, when you see an eight stone girl flapping about her own bedroom Ugh. with a with a man's arm attached to her, <laughs> that's bad. Kicking like spasming like a dead dog. <laughs> uh, oh, that'll that'll do, that'll turn your like a blue. cat that's just been hit by a moped. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean like when you cut the head off a chicken that tries to keep running? That's <laughs> weirdest thing I ever seen. Right? Just me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't an incident. This was just me stumbling across something when I was very young. Like I think it was. In my granny's old house, right? And she had, there was loads of like land around it. But when you went up the back, there was this weird like, it was like they were growing something in these like rows of shit, like bushes. And I walk, I just sort of glanced down and there was a, a shit, right? With a, you know, like a fucking, do you know, like a plate of false teeth? What? Jammed in the shit. And then this really dodgy, like, it wasn't really like a porno, but it had nude pictures in it. But it was like all stories just beside it. And I was just like, what the fuck is this? The teeth freaked me out. scared the shit out of me. Like, the, the, if they're all linked, that's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. I actually also seen a, a pigeon stand on top of a lamppost on one leg. And it had a look on its face as if it was practicing karate. <laughs> like it was going to fight Mike Barnes, the bad boy of comedy. I once 1988, in, in Karate Graf- Kid 3. In Great Victoria Street uh, bus station, saw a homeless man with like... A three liter bottle of Coke, right? It was definitely Coke, it wasn't even a mixer, right? And he just, he took this ridiculously long gulp out of it, right? He chugged about half of it, and then he just held it all close to himself, like it was a wee baby, and then just left. That was it. It's kind I, of sad. I saw an old woman fall one time, and she, she was carrying shopping bags that were just far too heavy for her, and she fell and fell forward, and I watched as her nose actually flattened a bit on the pavement. Oh. God bless her, she was that Dad, wee, she Dad. couldn't even turn her head. 
Go for a wee pint, boys, or what? I seen a, a woman. Or a pint. Or no, sorry. I've talked about it before, I can't talk about it now. I seen what a man punch a pigeon. Like, as in, the pigeon was on the ground, and then he was walking, <coughs> and the pigeon, like, flew up, and he made this, like, really, ah! noise, and then he, like, just punched the pigeon right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to kick a pigeon. Oh, Maggie, do you, not, do you not know the story of the man, the man who just used Dallas calling his mates out for a pint when we were kids? Oh, we mum in the corner? Yeah. Uh, we should go him. find him. Billy. <laughs> I've nine Billy. Is he still around, is he? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's off for a pint at the moment. We should, we should go visit him. Ask him, does he want to go for a pint? <laughs> Let's go and get pizza. Pints. So is that the end of it? Yeah, I think that's us pretty well. Did you enjoy your self, Mickey? I did indeed. I'm glad I got to share. Duh, did you enjoy self, Shane? Uh-huh, had a good time, yeah. Brilliant. Two weeks pushing it. <laughs> Can I come back next week? Yeah. You I look as should... if I don't know. No, I was thinking. We should, we should all come back next week. Yeah, let's do it. Join us next time. We've got dirt in the end, as usual. Sponsored by Skimworks. Cheap tattoos. I'm They're... looking one, by the way. I'm looking cheap tattoos. And they I'm don't still do. I heard one? the best rumor ever. They don't do true? cheap they don't tattoos. Do stars. They don't. That's brilliant. They don't do tribal tattoos either. That's very good. Because every cunt's coming and asking for them. Of course they are. Badass. Yeah. But anyway, what's this filthy song? It's the, just to go with the theme of the show. Since Mickey lowered the tone violently. Sorry, listeners. Uh, Andy C, dirty little slut. Oh. Ratten. I am a dirty little slut. <laughs>